But we had 20 people here so far. More people are on their way from Miami. And Larry, there's Larry. We got, yeah, we got 21. Yeah, 21. <laughs> no, no, that, we got Jim Winters coming. You know, he's gonna come on the bus. That big bulldog. The bulldog, bulldog. Yeah, Nikon Miami. So, so chug the beer, Carlos. Yeah, let me, let me chug the beer. <laughs> <laughs> if I do, I get the hiccups. So, anyway, so I wrote a story about it on my blog, and, and then it was followed up by local newspapers, and, and the city attorney said, well, yeah, I mean, that law, even though they couldn't really say what law it was, they were saying, yeah, you're not allowed to take pictures. So, and we know better. We know better. I mean, I've been writing a blog for four years. I've been following this subject for four years. And so we said, we're going to come down here and, and find out why is it illegal, and we're going to prove to them that it is legal. And if they want to arrest, that's fine. We'll, we'll take the arrest because we will win in court. Yes, how you doing, officer? My name is Carlos Miller. Street clothes, I'm not coming. Okay, can I stand on the sidewalk and get a quick interview? You have the sidewalk. You can stand on the corner where that other guy. Well, can I? Is there anyone in charge who can give me a comment? Sir, I need you off the sidewalk, please. Back off, the sidewalk. off the sidewalk. Well, I was up. Guys, the... they rented the sidewalk. They have it all, all the way up here, please. So I can't be on the sidewalk. I can't be on the street. Go that way. Thank you. Can I talk to a supervisor? I'm doing a journalistic report here on. Sir, can I have you back up to where that other camera is, please? So where's the, where's the line? Where where's the line? Where's the line? Is this the line? Right, right here. But where? Where's the right line? Back over there where this brick starts. Just scoot back right on that. The line keeps. Right you keep moving right the line there. back. Guys, can you back but up? Can you call a PO? Sir, I need you off this property. And back up, but can you okay. tell us what the Sir, line? Sir, back up, please. Right here. I want you guys back here. Okay. Can you move Do you the have a copy? Please, ma'am? Do you have a copy of this? You guys line? can contact the Fort Lauderdale no, Police Department and ask to speak to no. a PIO and he'll no. be out what, here. Can, you, can you guys back up, please? I Sir, if, I'd like to see a copy of the city manager's permit. The sidewalk over there. Sir, can Officer you back up? Brig Brig back up. Brigannoni? If you want to speak to the Brignone. PIO, you can Officer call the Officer Brigannoni? Do you, you have a copy of the city manager? Do you have a copy of the city manager's permit? You're supposed to be being required by law to have a copy of the city manager's permit. Every police officer who's assigned to off duty is supposed to have an off duty copy of the, of the permit. Where's your copy? Ma'am, can you just put your hand off the sidewalk? So we are allowed to take photos at least. At least we got that far. But there's no sign that says no trespassing. Sir? Yes, sir. It's closed. If you want to do something, go please stand on the sidewalk, public sidewalk. Right okay. Now, the street is closed. But we are allowed to take video here. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. And, right. In the city of Fort Lauderdale, uh, my last experience, again, and it's been a little while, but not that long ago, is that the city of Fort Lauderdale itself doesn't have a film commissioner. What it has is it has somebody in the city manager's office who's uh, responsible for issuing permits for filming in the city. And it's a cumbersome process. Now, when you're dealing with a, with a production like this, a big budget production with big name movie stars, uh, cities will, you know, like Fort Lauderdale, will, because of the image supposedly that, that a big production, you know, creates for the city, they will bend over backwards, including breaking the law in this case, to try to accommodate uh, the request of the production company. So now there are no signs at all. And they're telling you where you can and cannot go. And nobody knows because even the officer has made up an arbitrary defined perimeter and is telling photographers and citizens after the fact where they have a lawful right to be. That young girl standing in that green t-shirt is technically acting illegally right now, according to the police officer. But there's no. Sorry that little girl, we never asked her, I guess. I was a, I was actually a journalist for the army for okay. many years, but uh, now I'm just interested in I'm more interested in the constitutional aspect of the fact that this is our freaking sidewalk. I am here to support photographers' rights in public, but in typical governmental fashion, they removed the signs that were denying photographers' rights in public, so that they could construe some new fangled border which you weren't allowed to penetrate. Uh, they had signs up this past week saying that uh, no photography in this area which they've since removed once they knew we were coming and uh, just a small victory for photographers out there uh, whose rights should be to photograph wherever you want in public areas. Oh, I'm here to support photographers and their right to photograph in 
public space. I think it's unacceptable. The city and people working for them come out and, and try to restrict us when we have every right to photograph. And, where they're saying you're allowed to sit here and, and buy beer and have food and hang out, but you're not allowed to take pictures. And we know that that is not a, that's not lawful. That's against the laws, against the First Amendment. It, it's very unconstitutional. And they're just doing it. They, they think that we're just going to accept that. Okay, we're not. We're not. We're, we're going to go here and we're not breaking the law. We're going to go here and, and take pictures and show them that we know our rights and we know what we can do and what we can't do. We're not going to try to pass all over the film sets, but we are going to sit here and take pictures. And, and so far, they seem cool. They removed the signs. They had signs for two weeks saying photography is not allowed. And suddenly, the signs are removed. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I think they knew we were coming. So I guess that's progress. But we want to find out why the signs were there in the first place. That, I mean, because we can't just forget like it never happened. Because we, we want to make sure it never happens again. And what do you hope to accomplish by this? Is this a, a protest? What is this?